with air hole unplugged, let's check if cartridge can get ink from the ink tank. Remove the top plug, and use a syringe to draw ink from the top hole. If the ink flows in easily, there is not a problem with the ink supply. An alternative way is to make a tool that simulates printer's ink intake process. Take a regular needle and break it from the base, leave a tiny bit of steel on the top. Use it to suck ink from the bottom. If you found no problem with the ink supply, you should go back and work on the clogging issue. Otherwise, start looking for signs of dry ink in the supply tube. It is normal to have air in the supply tube for new CIS. The air may cause the ink to dry in the tube and thus block the supply. If the tube looks fine, we need to check the tank. Plug all the air holes because we are going to take the tank out of its base. Pull apart the tank from its case from the top, and then lift up the tank. The tank will be separated from its case. Make sure all the holes are plugged before flipping the tank upside down. In this case, the cyan tube is pulled out too much, and the elbow is at an odd angle with the brace, which prevented ink flow. After minor adjustment, it is working again. I hope you enjoy this video. Visit us on www.bchtechnologies.com, or locally at our office at Greensboro, North Carolina. Happy printing. See you next refill. Cheers.